Hi Southside, how are you? Mr. Murphy here from the high school bleachers. I'm just going to take a little mask break now because I'm outside. I'm socially distanced. And I've had the mask on all day because I've been indoors. We just wanted to touch base this week for the first of several videos that we will send you to start to prepare you for the start of the school year. We've been working really hard over the summer and look forward to seeing you. We met with the freshmen for the last three days and it was great to see students in the building working with us. They breathed new life into the building and it was a pleasure and it was a sign that we're starting to get back. In the next few days, you're going to receive your schedules for next year, which were put in the mail today. They will be on either red or blue paper to indicate which group you belong to, either the red group or the blue group. Please refer to the color-coded school calendar on the high school homepage to let you know when you are arriving in person at the high school and when you are re learning remotely. Due to the complicated nature of scheduling this year and the fact that everything that we do is to keep you safe, healthy, and part of the community, your rooms and your assignments are allocated based on the capacity of each room and each period to make sure that everyone has socially distant space in order to learn. It's for this reason that changes or modifications to schedules will be very difficult, if not impossible. We apologize for the inconvenience, but please know that everything that we're going to talk about today and moving forward is to keep you safe and to make sure that we can get back to normal as quickly as humanly possible. Mr. Waltz is going to talk about entering the building and getting your day started. Hi everybody, Dr. Walsh here. Taking off my mask because I'm outside and get a nice mask break because I'm socially distanced. Hopefully you all are doing well. Wanted to update you just on some uh, basic procedures for the high school this upcoming school year and let you know on some of the updates that we've been working on. When you arrive here at the building in the morning, there's gonna be four main entrance points that you can enter the school at. There are two entrances in the colonnade, one entrance in the north entrance, and one by the main flagpole entrance. We have four entrances this year to try to reduce the amount of students in one particular space at a given time. Upon entry into the building, you will have your temperature checked if you haven't arrived on a school bus. If you came on a bus, you will have had your temperature checked already. Once you enter the building, if you come before 725, we're going to ask that you report to either the auditorium or one of the cafeterias where we have uh, seating set up in a socially distanced format. At 725, you will proceed to your first period class where you will await the beginning of first period. Another change you may have noticed was that the bell schedule was updated so that there were six minutes in between classes. We're doing this so we can have a staggered change of classes where we don't have as many students in the hallways as possible. This is all geared at keeping you safe and making sure that you get to and from your classes in a safe way. The administrative team and the staff have been working diligently over the summer to make sure that your arrival back to school is safe and doable for you. We look forward to having you back and we can't wait to see you all next week. Thank you, Dr. Walsh. Speaking of bell schedules and period to period, our new routine is going to be interrupted for a time and we have to develop a new normal for the time being. One of that new normals involves wearing masks. After you get your temperature checked from the time you enter the building, Masks are required at all times, both in the hallways, in safe spaces, in the cafeteria, and when you're in the classroom. The only exception is if you're eating, in which case you can take your mask down to eat. It takes getting used to, we understand that. But again, wearing masks for all of us has been a transition, but they are mandatory at all times in the high school while you're inside. We are incorporating mask breaks throughout the day, we're meeting with the staff and the faculty next week, and we will have procedures and times where you can take a breather, no pun intended. We're also working on transitions, as Dr. Wald said, going through the remote online schedule, how that's going to work out. Every day, we're getting closer and closer. I'm confident and looking forward to being with you. We are a team. We never needed you more now than ever. And next week, we'll provide even more detailed information on how your school day, work day, and the school year is going to look. Be well and be safe.